Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Mutsy Table Studio here with a project that I've been trying to get to for about two months. And so I think today I have time. I received a box of these carving circles um, from my niece who lives in Ohio. And there were 24 in the box. And they are, they well they are, they seem rather thick to me. But they're almost or about a little thicker or about the same as the speedball, you know, the sheets. And it's flexible. They're not hard, hard. So this is going to what I'm going to be on carving today. I don't usually carve in circles because uh, it limits me trying to fix an error, <laughs> to be honest with you. So yeah, I don't know how this is going to go. I haven't carved in a circle. I carve in a circle, but then I cut around it to cut off stuff I don't want. You can, we can do it with this, but you don't have a lot of wiggle room. So my thought was, I have this book that was gifted to me by my friend Carla at What If NC. And this is where I do my serious drawing. It's a book of flowers where um, I follow Alice Loves Drawing on Instagram. And these... A lot of these were tutorials that she did. This one is not a tutorial that she did, but following all the other tutorials, I was able to do this. These are Xenia's and my friend who lives in Norfolk, Josie Bergstrom, is the one who photographed these, posted on Facebook. I asked her if it was okay if I drew them. She said yes. And here's what, this is what I came up with. This was not part of it. <laughs> okay, just the Xenia's. So I went through the book looking for something round, and I thought, well, there you go. What do you think? I'm thinking it's pretty good. So then I, what I did first before I decided to do that, I took this template, and I went and looked for the circles that would kind of fit on here. And I thought, well, I don't really need to do that. Not this time. So then I went to my papers. This is Master's Touch, and I think that's a Hobby Lobby brand, a premium tracing paper. Now, for me, it feels just like other brands, what they call vellum, and it feels exactly the same. So I think the lines are blurred sometimes between tracing paper and vellum. This feels exactly like other stuff that I bought off of Amazon labeled vellum. So I'm not really sure if there's a standard for what tracing paper should be, what vellum should be, I think the line's kind of blurred. All right, let me scoot this out of the way. So I decided that I did not want to redraw this onto the rubber. So I'm going to cheat. I'm gonna take a piece of vellum, tracing paper. I'm going to lay it on top of this and you can see it kind of blurs it a little bit, but it's still good enough I can see it. I will retrace the flower with the pencil and then flip it over and then rub it on here like I've done in the past. As I'm drawing it, I will fast forward through the process, but I'm sure that me drawing like this is not that, not that exciting. So I will be back in a second with the completed picture. Okay, so I'm almost done, but the one thing I want to say is before you completely move this, I think the best method I've seen people do is they lift up, they look, they lift up, they look. And I did that a couple times. I see mine's out of alignment here. And I want to make sure that I got all the petals of the flower on here. See, I missed a section right there. Okay, so let's draw that in there. This is just a basic number two pencil. It's not anything special. And there we have it. Um, I didn't, oh, you can't see it. I didn't put any detail in it because that will, listen, I'm hoping just to get the basics on there. I don't know. <laughs> it's been a couple months since I carved. I'm a little nervous about doing this. All right, so I'm hoping, yep, it does, it fits. That's why I used that circle um, template to make sure that my flower was going to fit on here. Where is the bone folder? Where is the bone folder? Here we go. So I'm just going to do the rub on it. I'll put the detail in later. I'm just hoping I get the basics. 
And I did draw this, so this is my original. Now I'm going to make it a stamp that I can use lots of different places. At least that's the theory. <laughs> I have carved so many stamps since I started doing Carved December, and I've got one of those large, wide IKEA drawer cabinets full of stamps. Okay, there it is. See, I just think it's kind of silly to redraw it when you've already got this and just a little bit of this. will save a ton of work. Um, I'm not going to outline anything. Well, I say that. Let me just do a little bit here. Just a little bit to finish the lines that don't go all the way down so I can remember they need to go all the way down. I don't see any others that look like I didn't complete them. I think that might be it. Alrighty, so I'm going to take the... I have the micro palm set. These are not removable handles, but I'm going to use the smallest one. It tells you what comes in the box, what the smallest one is. and I can't remember the numbers. This... oh... It's telling you the degree angle. This one's a 45 by one millimeter. And then there's a nine by one millimeter. This is 45 degrees and a one millimeter. But you can also use this one, except for I think that the speed ball is a little larger than this. Although, looking at it, it looks darn close that they're the same size. All right, so, Say a prayer. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to go. Um, I think, I don't know if I should start on the outside in or inside out. Just do it. Just, just do it. Okay. So all I'm doing is line work. I'm not doing any details. This is just the very basic to determine where the center of the flower is going to be. That is not very much rubber. It's not... It looks like a hair. I mean, there's hardly anything there. All right, well, let me get my trash can over here. And yes, there's Cadbury egg wrappers in there. Don't look. <laughs> All right, so let's start here for this one. Let's dig in a little deeper here. Because it'll go right there. So I'm just going along the pencil lines. I'm not doing anything special, believe me. This is nerve-wracking enough as it is. Forgot to turn my phone off, so you're going to hear thumping for notifications. I'm just going to let this stuff go on the table. All right, so then I'm doing the first layer that's around the center of the flower. So I think that's, I'm supposed to go out and then in. I'm going to send this video link to my niece so she can see that I did use her Christmas gift. Let's do the next one. I think this is going to take a while to carve. because it's very small. All right, I might fast forward through this because, you know, I'm leaning forward down trying to see what I'm doing. My eyes are going cross-eyed. So let me fast forward through it so you don't hear me grumbling about how I can't see.
Okay, so uh, this is the inaugural stamping. Wow. I hope this works. Whoa, look at that. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, so now what I need to do is the detail work in the flower. So again, well, maybe not. Let's see. All right, here's my picture. The, I think it points this way. It doesn't really matter. I don't care. I see a flaw right there. Oh, it's just that the rubber didn't come out. There we go. Okay, so the inside is going like this with the pen. So I did it in a circular motion to where it comes to meet in the middle. Not really sure I can do that with this, but we will give it a shot. I need to leave some open edges here so there's color that comes through. I don't think that piece of rubber came out. I think every time you carve, you need skinny fingers. <laughs> Tweezers. So that you can grab stuff. I put that there. Yep, see, I can't I can't get it out of my fat fingers, so that's why you need the tweezers. Well, not too bad considering I've never carved anything like this one before. So there's the center. I wonder how it's going to print out. All right, so um, the leaves have some details in them. So what I'm going to do is try to do a little bit of minor detail. Just little marks. Nothing too serious to give it a little more character. This one should probably go down there like that because I think I'm missing a, there we go, a petal. So I'm just going to put in little tiny scratchy looking lines in here to give it a little more depth. Not sure if it'll work, but it's okay. I could trim out all around it, around these edges here, but doing that kind of makes me nervous. Ooh, that was a little too deep. It cars really well, it's good and soft, even though it seemed like it was really super sturdy. It, I think it works pretty well. Not too shabby for an amateur, huh? All right, let's stamp it up, see what it does. Wow, okay. I think I had a piece of, here we go. I'd rather stamp, I'd rather do it like this underneath a cushion so that my stuff will actually come in contact with the paper better. 
So I think I need more ink on it than what I actually got on it. Let's try it without the foam. I don't think the foam did it any justice. And there you have it. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm kind of shocked. <laughs> kind of shocked. All right, I see a place where I need to make a bridge. We need to carve this up and over so it connects all the petals. There we go. All right, so I might brave and I don't know. Do I really want to carve the flower? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. All right, so um, this has a little knife in it, but I think I might just use this one. And... Oh, mercy, I'm committing Harry Carey with an exacto knife. Let's see. I have a blazing red stays on. Oops. There's a booger. And I know it won't come out red right away because I've got the black ink underneath it. But that's okay. This is just a test. I'm not going to freak out because it didn't come out perfectly red. Oh, I kind of like that color. See, and it took a lot of the black off of it when I did that. So maybe this one will be better. But I had a thought about something I might like to try. That looks better. What do you think? Not too shabby, huh? Oh, I'm so excited. And that's why we buy tracing paper or vellum, whatever you want to call it or whatever the company calls it that you buy it from. Um, that's why we buy these things, is so that we can do stuff like this. All right, so do I want a jelly plate? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, 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 okay. All right, I might do one pull. Or five. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I just love trying my rubber stance on jelly plates. All right, so I'm going to cut this one in half so I can use three. I can do three pulls because that way I'll have three sides. Well, two. I might want to cut those out and put those in my book. All right, let's see. I need some paint. Oh yeah, I got to have a jelly plate. We have the lovely five by seven. This one gets used more than any of my other plates. I do have an eight by ten, and I have one of those huge. What are they? Eleven by fourteens. Now I've got some shape, shaped ones, a triangle, uh, I can't remember all the shapes, but somebody gifted me those shapes. Let's put it right there. Here's my paper, there's my stamp, now i got to get some paint. Okay, so I have a magenta by Craftsmart, and then I have this one, and that's upside down for a reason, Flamingo Red 
which is Apple Barrel. I think I probably got this from Walmart. And it may be dried up. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> well, that was unexpected. <laughs> okay, oh, way too much paint. And my brayer is rolling rather oddly. Oh, that is entirely too much paint. Okay. <laughs> entirely. Let me get it off the brayer. Woof. That's a lot of red paint there. Oh my goodness. You do not need to be so thick. I'd probably get five pulls off of that one squirt of paint. Yeehaw. <laughs> that was way too much. <laughs> wow. All right. So let's see if we can do this. I need a stamp off pad. Of course, I never have enough paper over here next to me. See, there's too much paint on here, but there's not too much for me when it comes to laying it down like this. How's that? Oh, I really like the way that looks. And the ghost of it's not as good. All right, I'm gonna leave this and I'm gonna rug get some paper. I'm gonna let that sit on there for a second. Okay, so I got two more pieces of paper. Ooh, I, I think I moved that one. Although I do, I still like the way it looks, but let's do that on the edge. And then let's get a full one right here. There's entirely too much paint. It'll be blobby and kind of icky when I pull because there's, like I said, there's just too much paint on it. I want to do it again, but I don't think that's going to help. Yeah, there's too much paint. But I'm still going to do it anyway because I hate to waste it. But I got some nice pulls this way. There's a good one. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited about the, even if the jelly print doesn't turn out, the little, the little stamps this way will. Oh, look at that. I'm so excited. I might have to do another one. I saw a daisy in my book that I really like, so I might do a daisy on another day. I get my husband put on headphones because he has a hearing problem, and so then the dog whines the whole time because she wants to go out. He can't hear her, so she whines. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Okay, let's see. There again, another, oh, just wonderful. I'm very happy. Wunderbar. I'm wondering if this dries, if the print will still be worth it to pull. I might put yellow on it and see what it looks like with yellow. See, that's only half because that was the, you know, the side piece here. Okay, so, uh, yellow. Do I have yellow? Oh, right here. Yellow. Where's my brayer? Here, here. 
Let's just do a pinch. Not too much. There we go. I think the the thing about getting good pulls is your patience level. Do you have the patience to wait for the paint to dry to make a nice clean pull? That answer is no. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> I do not have the patience for it. We'll see though. Prayer. Alrighty, let's do it. Oh, this might be sulfur paper. It's got tooth to it. I just pulled papers out of my white paper scrap box. nervous about pulling this but we'll see. Wow look at that. Some parts work. See look at that. It had good color behind it but there's too much red on my plate so let's try this again with a little bit of paint. because I think getting a pull will be much better with not so much paint. There we go. Okay. Okay, so that's a much better pull than the last time. I think it's a matter of the thickness of your paint not getting carried away. So there we are. There is my drawing. There is it. The little square I used. Uh, this. And the pattern that it came from is this one. All right, everybody, this is it for me for today, so I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.